What sexual position do you think will most likely break your penis? Cowgirl or woman on top? Doggy style or the missionary position with a man on top? Take a second now and please write down your guess down in the comments section below. Hi friends, it's Dr. Chan here. Today we are going to talk about every guy's worst nightmare. No, not that one. It's breaking your penis during intercourse, also known as a penile fracture. The question we want to answer is, which sexual position most commonly leads to a penile fracture? But first, let's talk a little bit about penile anatomy. When people hear penis fracture, they wonder, is there a bone in there? In certain animals and primate males, they have a penis bone called a boculum. Some are as long as two feet long in the walrus. Humans are unusual in that they don't have a penis bone, but why? Theories abound that the penis bone helps with keeping the penis in the vagina longer. However, the average time from penetration to ejaculation for humans is only two minutes. So a penis bone might not be necessary. Instead, we have two corpus cavernosum or sponge-like cylinders running the length of the penis that fill with blood. When erect, they tend not to bend. When too much pressure is applied to them, like when a woman accidentally crushes the penis with her pelvic bone, the corpora then can sometimes burst or blow out like a tire under pressure. Now back to our question, which sexual position is most commonly being used at the time of a penis fracture? Doggy style, missionary, or cowgirl? This 2017 International Journal of Impotence Research article sought to answer this question. The results were actually kind of surprised. The doggy style was involved in about 41% of cases, followed by missionary position in 25% of cases, and then the woman on top or cowgirl in 10% of cases. Furthermore, when they looked at just how bad the penile fracture was, they found that the doggy style was associated with rupture of both the corpora. But why doggy style? Personally, I would have thought that cowgirl or woman on top would be the most dangerous position because the penis slips out, there's no way of knowing, and there's a chance that she could sit on top of the penis. However, the hypothesis behind this is that during the doggy style, the man can become a little bit too excited, and if the penis falls out and crushes against the perineum or the pelvis, it's gonna to lead to a blowout. So the take home message is try not to overdo it guys, moderation in everything. It's important to maintain control during intercourse so that the penis doesn't accidentally slip out and smash against the bony parts of the woman's pelvis. For those of you who are curious about the surgical procedure to fix a broken penis, let's take a look at this banana model here. We first make a circumscribing incision around the top portion of the penis. We then peel back the penis skin all the way down to the base. Sometimes finding the place where it can rupture can be challenging, so we place a tourniquet around the bottom and inject sterile saline or fluid into the penis corpora in order to simulate an erection. The area of blowout of the rupture will then start leaking and then we can suture it up with some absorbable suture. Most guys need to hold off on intercourse for about four to six weeks. Now the things that you have to worry about long term with a penis rupture or fracture is that the areas that we repair can sometimes scar down leading to curvature of the penis or the bent carrot if you've seen those commercials around everywhere recently. Also, if someone doesn't get to the emergency room quick enough and just puts it off, then leaving it unfixed, usually more than 24 hours, can sometimes cause permanent erectile dysfunction. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in urology news. Have a great day, guys.